waiting for them to come get me and be on national television, which actually this is the largest and most popular TV station in all Bolivia. So today I am going to be on the national media spotlight of the entire country of Bolivia. So it's going to be a very interesting evening. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name's Alex. I'm an ex-medical student who sold all his belongings in 2012 to travel around the world. 50 countries and the adventure continues. All right, so today is a very exciting day because uh, one of my Instagram followers actually works for a television program here in Santa Cruz, Bolivia, and it's all about viral videos social media, what's going on today, and it's a daily show they do, and they were so very kind to invite me out here and actually tell them about who I am, what I do, my story, the videos I do, uh, my recent Bolivia video series they all loved. I'm currently in the backstage of the TV place here and uh, waiting for them to come get me and be on national television, which actually this is the largest and most popular TV station in all Bolivia. So today, I am going to be on the national media spotlight of the entire country of Bolivia. So it's going to be a very interesting evening. <laughs> so I did not think I would be here this morning because they just barely told me this afternoon I should come on by. Uh, so it's very exciting to be in front of the entire audience of Bolivia today. So who knew I would be on national news? It's going to be awesome. Check it out, we are now in the production studio for the television program. And uh, as you can see, everybody has makeup, everybody's ready to go, and it's a pretty nice studio, I have to say. So I feel totally famous being here. I feel very inadequately dressed. I feel like an adventurer and a biker. And everybody here is in beautiful dresses, looking very good, so. Anyway, apparently this is a live TV show. I did not know that, I thought it was recorded, so I can't mess up. So hopefully I won't mess up, just like I messed up my words. <laughs> I love Bolivia because if you can talk during production, it's not super strict. I'm walking around everywhere. It is so cool. It's just super chill about it. I would not be able to do this in other productions because when I was on national television and international television all over the world before, they were very, very strict. And here in Bolivia, they're just like super chill about it. We're taking pictures, we're chatting, it's fantastic. All right, I'll see you guys live. freaking awesome. <laughs> it's a very high energy show, there's a lot of questions, they just boom boom boom, the cameras go like this. It was a privilege to be here, it was an honor. Muchas gracias a la gente de Bolivia. Muchas gracias a los que me invitaron al programa. Fue un placer estar aquí en el programa y enseñarle a la gente de Bolivia y de Sudamérica en lo que hago y quién soy. So that was really, really cool, big on national television. <laughs> and here's the best thing about it is that it was you guys, the followers on my Instagram that actually made this happen. And in this case, we have Alexia again. Uh, <laughs> she's the one that made this happen. Woo! She was following me. So she called me up, we hung out today, we talked a little bit and we made this happen. So super thanks, you're awesome. Thanks to you, you made, and it, you know what? He came with the, with, the, with the motorcycle and he's like, rum, rum, in the middle of the set. People love you. Bolivia loved you. Thank you so much for being here. We love it. But where can people find you on social media? Alexia Dabdup on Instagram. I know most of you missed that. So what I'll do is I'll put a link on this <laughs> video you. below so you can just yeah. click and it's that easy. 
super cool. She's an actress. She's going to be in a few movies coming up, and she's got a TV show as well. So be sure to check out. Super awesome. Uh, I also want to introduce you guys the rest of the crew here, which uh, made my time here believe very awesome. Um, Hablas un poco de inglés? Yes. Oh, perfecto. Okay. Uh, por favor, díganme seguidores. ¿Quién eres? ¿Qué haces? ¿Y dónde pueden encontrar? Hi, people. I'm Lisbeth Aranda. I'm Bolivian. Lisbeth with S in TH. Aranda. All. Again, I'll put a link in the description below this video <laughs> so you can just click it because it's that much easier. Hello, fam! How are you? I'm Valerie Monique. You can follow me on Instagram as Sweet Monique and on Facebook like Valerie Monique. He just rocks this set. Dude, you, you're, you're the best. Thank you. They're too kind. Okay. So again, I'll put a link in the description below. Check them out. Very cool. Hello. Hi, my name is Carlos. Uh, we were very glad to, to have you here, Alex, with us. And well, you can find me also in, in Facebook, uh, Carlos Hugo Morales, 68. That's the year. So they made me feel like family, and this is the best thing about Bolivia is the people because they made my time here awesome, excellent. Be sure to check them out. Really great people, and uh, all the way from Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe to me. Subscribe to me. Anyway, I'm gonna take the bike out of here. They're kicking us out, so I'm gonna head back to the hotel, have some dinner, have some water because it's really hot here. Yeah. And, uh, we're gonna go dancing. Oh, we're gonna go dancing. In case, in case you don't know, he's gonna go dancing tonight. <laughs> Another room. Am, am I going alone? Or am I going with you? With yeah. all the crew, man. All right, We're going to have fun tonight. If alguien habla español por ahí, él lo hizo increíble. Anyway, so I'm going to go back, get the bike ready, and we're going to head out tomorrow for the rest of the adventure. So, anyway, all the way from Santa Cruz, Bolivia, thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow. Ooh, oh, man, this road sucks today. Check it out. My goodness. Welcome to the town of Episana, which is literally nothing. There's nothing here. Check it out. Nothing. There's only a kid back here. There's a weird little stand that I'm having breakfast at. That's it. That this, this is all there is. There's nothing. Nothing's open. Just a lady on the street selling eggs and pasta. Consequentially, is what we have for breakfast today. Boiled eggs, potato, and pasta. So, a fork that I hope has been cleaned, and uh, we're gonna have some breakfast today. Uh, from here on out, we're gonna head to Toro Toro, which is about a six to eight hour drive. It's only 200 kilometers, but it's gonna be pretty rough. And I'm with my favorite buddy, Leandro, which is uh, somewhere over there. Oh, there he is. Where's the beard? Look for the beard. Anyway, here's our bearded man. Ah, vodka. That's <laughs> how. That's how it's water. We gotta eat on the, get on the road. All right, welcome to another wonderful installment of problems you find in Bolivia. So no gas here. Uh, I am literally getting the last drops. As you can see, it is going very, very, very slow. So that's today's challenge, is just getting a little bit of gas, enough to make it to the next big city. Look at that. And they told me a trick, and they actually have to step on the hose here to kind of create pressure, and uh, it gets a little more gas out. But it's so funny because it's like little drops that are coming out. So this is uh, the problems you face in Bolivia sometimes. All right, I think that's it. There's no more. Hopefully we'll make it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So I got some really exciting news for you guys. By the time you watch this video, I should already be in India. So I got this great project in Europe, in Slovenia, for the tourism board, and I got another project in Nepal for the tourism board as well. So I basically go there, I check out the place, we take a press trip, I record everything, and basically I help promote tourism, I do videos, we do pictures, tagging, the whole deal. Uh, but most importantly, uh, for those of you in India, be sure to follow me on Instagram, because I will say where I will be and for how long, because uh, I'll be having a few different meetups uh, from Mumbai to Leh uh, and maybe some few other cities. Watching this video, head over to my Instagram now and uh, be sure to check out where I have my meetups now. If you have any questions, any recommendations on things you guys want to see, 
uh, or things you want me to experience or share with you guys, please leave me a comment below in this video. All right, guys, if you want the fun sights of Bolivia, check out. There's a sheep or a ram there in the back of that car. So if you've ever wondered how these uh, animals get transported, there you go. <laughs> you ready for today's very ridiculous story? Well, so we came to the gas station and they wouldn't sell us gas and we had to fight for it and still wouldn't sell us gas and then they're making us like go get copies of our information so we can get gas and then we can't get gas right to the tank. We have to get it in a plastic bag uh, and then we try to ask for like a container. We couldn't get the container and now we're doing the plastic bag so we can only take five liters per time. So now we got to do like back and forth and it's a pain in the butt. I hate you, Bolivian. No, I'm to come to see So, plastic bag to container. Here we go. It's not a true Bolivian gas up if you're not full of gas smelling horrible after. I believe I got a bone to pick with you. What a stupid system you have for the gas thing, really. In some gasoline stations, they don't even sell you gas because you're a foreigner. They're like, oh, we don't know what to do. We don't know if to charge you more. We don't know what it is. So get your things together, Bolivia, because uh, some gas stations sell you gas. Sometimes they don't. Most of the time they do. Most of the time it's not a problem, but they charge you, uh, you know, eight, nine Bolivians per liter when it's actually three. The government recently passed a resolution to not do this for foreigners. Apparently in the last month or so, uh, Landro has this very nice document that says, this is what the government said to the Brazilian government. This is what you need to tell your your travelers from Brazil. And we have a document with us that says you shouldn't be charging foreigners an extortionate amount of money for a gas. And it's a brand new resolution coming into effect. And uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these places just don't get the memo and they don't know. And as much as you tell them, try to convince them, they do not budge, they don't move. So plastic bag, fill it up with five liters of fuel, come back to the bikes here, put the fuel in there, go back and buy five liters more and keep doing it till we fill up. And it's literally been about 40 minutes to gas up here, which is so stupid when it's so easy just to grab it, put it in the tank and when you're done. Uh, Bolivia likes to give a headache on is when you gas up. So if you come here, yeah, it's uh, most of the time will be fine, but we some of these times where you just wanna just wanna smack somebody. The gas man. <laughs> It's funny, the gas here looks like a uh, clear liquid. Yeah.